so now that we have our inertia up and running with Laravel, let's look at how we can disable the registrations for um, users. Okay, so once you go to this page, suddenly you will see that nothing is being rendered and I'm getting some JSON data error. Now, what has basically happened is if you go to our app.js, right, we are getting a constant which is document get element by id app, and then we are trying to uh, you know, get the inertia pages in. However, for login, register, register, and all those pages, these things do, don't exist, right? We have created an app dot blade in the root of resources. Sorry, the resources views folder. Okay, this is our inertia based blade file. However, um, we also get a, a layouts dot app dot blade file, which is a, which has an ID. Okay, and so my Vue.js application is getting initialized here as well and it is failing because it doesn't get that page. So what I can do is inside my app.blade.php I will remove that ID okay or rather app no app okay I will change this so what will happen is the JavaScript will not get triggered and I'll get this form login registration but that console is still coming there, right? So what we can additionally do is keep a check. If I have app then do this. So this is done. And if I do dashboard, I'm getting the view component as well. So this is working and my login is working as well so this is something which you need to take care of when you are implementing um, inertia along with the laravel's ui package auth uh, with view okay straightforward thing so let's not worry about that my basic idea is the login and registration can be uh, normal php pages but once we get into into the dashboard then we have that entire spa kind of a look and feel okay so let's quickly first get hold of a database and we will start with that i have sql pro running with a database called fit app so let me configure my dot env hmm. my dot env is here hmm. let's call it fit app my sql database name is fit app Username is root, password is nothing. Because I have made changes to my env file, I'll need to reload my app. Okay, this is done. So now, if we look at our code base inside database seeds, we have database seeder. Okay, and inside migrations, we already get a user table, right? So what I will do is run my migrations first php artisan migrate okay inside my database it will create certain tables I'll go into register password is password I hit register and I'm logged in. So basically, it I can do email verified, um, and you know a user will be able to register. However, I don't want that. What I want is any user will be added to the system only when the admin adds that user. Okay. So let's look at how we can disable registration. First thing is obviously we need to get rid of this link. That's quite simple. I'll just go into the nav or not it's not nav app.blade.php which came with the auth package so view layout in here 
mm, log out and everything is fine this will go away if route has register okay remove okay and then it goes away oh it didn't that's a little strange what happened okay so I remove the register link from here okay and also from the welcome blade so this is these are the two places from where I need to remove that the URL is registered so now I don't see that I only see login which is fine um, and after some time that will not be visible as well now this page we need to disable so first things first let's go inside our controllers auth controller register controller okay um, if we go into our this trait right show registration form okay I know this is the view this is the page which is being you know uh, function being called um, how do I know that I can do php artisan route list okay and I can see that get has app HTTP controllers registration controller show registration form okay this is the function which is being called it's part of the trait so the registration controller uses that trait so what I can do is um, in here I can put this command so after the trait if I am overriding any function this is what is going to happen and return not rather return about code 404 the page you are looking for is not present okay come over here and we see not found however as we saw there is a post url as well which is register now what is happening inside the register function this is validator this is create and this is the register so inside register it is validating the request an event is fired user is getting logged in we don't need to do anything with these what we simply do is when is the create function getting called by the way this create right this is where it is happening so we just what we do is override this as well and this is 400 bad request this request cannot be processed okay with this in place I think we have successfully removed login form from our system okay uh, sorry registration from our system and uh, do we have any welcome controller no so PHP artisan make controller welcome controller okay I basically what I want to do is in my web.php this is a closure right now I don't want to do that I want this to be handled through the welcome controller I'll write the invoke function okay so what will happen is because this class has only one function it will return this function will be called automatically return redirect um, redirect login so now okay this doesn't work why because I haven't saved it so function this doesn't exist hmm that's strange okay index 
and I do index here and now it is getting redirected to the login page so right now we don't have any home page so as to say the slash URL is removed I'm directly uh, taken to the login screen so that's where the users will come in when they type in the domain name and uh, get to see the app so this is uh, the first point which we have covered we have disabled registration okay next we will see how we can uh, get started with the dashboard